Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a Louis Vuitton unboxing and it is a speedy bandolier. So spoiler alert, I know I already put it in the title so you probably know. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that for some reason the Speedy has been haunting me for a long, long time. I first noticed the Speedy in my early 20s. A lot of my friends bought the Speedy, but I just, for whatever reason, I was never compelled to pull the trigger. So for nearly 20 years or more, I just sort of ignored the Speedy and then it would haunt me and come back in my mind and I would look at photos or I would admire other people's Speedies. But again, I just never pulled the trigger. But I have always been looking for a low maintenance, highly durable, all weather bag. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. All weather bag for the bad weather in New York and also for travel. Just throw around, throw my stuff in, not worry about it. Have my kids, you know, drag it around, whatever. So when the bandolier was introduced a number of years ago, I was like, hmm, it caught my eye again because bandolier makes it so much easier. It, you know, hands-free, run around, all of that. I wish I had bought it when it was first introduced because it would have been a perfect mom bag when my kids were babies. Now they're older and I don't know. Anyway, so long story short, my sales associate, she said to me, it's going to be a while. I don't think I can locate a made in France piece. And I said, okay, don't worry about it. Meanwhile, I got really impatient. So that day I ordered the speedy, the speedy bandolier online from the Louis Vuitton website. And I thought, fingers crossed, I hope it'll be a made in France. 99% of the time, it's going to be a made in USA. So I, I knew there was a large chance I would be disappointed. But I thought, oh, what's the harm? It came. It's not this one. It came about three days ago. I tore it open. And lo and behold, it was a made in USA. So I didn't really think much of it. And I threw it back in, packaged it up, and I shipped it right out. So literally, it went back out yesterday and then this one arrived today and why do I have another one when I shipped that one out I checked the Louis Vuitton website and I thought if there's another one available I'll try one more time so there was another one available and I ordered this one and like I said it just arrived in the meantime yesterday my sales associate texted me saying hey I got a made in France one in for you here are some photos and I was like oh my gosh okay so I've got one coming that's this one which is going to be a mystery I don't know where it's made from and then I have the France one from my sales associate but she pointed out that there was some heavy wrinkling in one area of the bandolier like on the side and once I saw that I was like okay thank you but I declined because I'm not going to pay full price for a brand new speedy bandolier that has like messed up leather and she agreed so that's why I love her she's so honest and wonderful and helpful so I passed on that and then this came <laughs> so I know we're like three minutes into the video I apologize but I wanted to give you that context before I unbox this I'm super excited and also kind of nervous because I don't know I don't know what's in here in terms of like I know what's in here, I know what the item is, but I don't know if it's gonna be a made in France, USA, or maybe even the more uncommon Italy or Spain. So let's see. Okay, by the way, I have to say something. The last few items that I ordered from Louis Vuitton, there have been no ribbons, or the ribbon has just been like thrown on top or inside. You can see here there's no ribbon. So Louis Vuitton is just being kinda of lazy, I think, and I know, I mean, I love Louis Vuitton as a brand, don't get me wrong, but I know many of you will agree that the packaging is so crappy. <laughs> like, what is this? It's like a wrinkled, it doesn't even look nice, the presentation, like when you open something from Chanel, it's just like, ah, oh, the tissue paper and the sticker and the, the camellia flower and the ribbon, all that, it's all part of the experience. Dior, I have not purchased anything big from Dior, but I see the unboxings. Dior packaging is so beautiful. This, anyway, I digress, but this just looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Just Okay, so here it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, they have to smush it like this. The other one came like this too. So if you've not ever ordered a speedy bandolier, this is how it arrives. <laughs> This is how they package it for you in the store too. It is smushed. So this is the 25 size Damier bin, obviously. The new one, so the newer ones, it seems have like more 
matte leather. It's actually really soft. Super soft matte leather. Let me see. Yeah, the handles are matte as well, whereas the older versions, if you look a few years back, it's more um, polished. And then it, this one here, these are called chaps. They have the puffy chaps. Like if you go way, way back and you have the much older versions, these are flat, but this has a nice little puff to it and it feels nice. It feels nice on the hand. So this is what it looks like. Okay, let me get here. <laughs> I'm like rambling, but the point is I need to check if this is a made in, made in USA, made in, ah! Sorry for screaming in your ear. Can you guys see that? Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. Yes, it's a made in France. Oh my gosh, what are the chances? So I ordered two and it was a 50-50 chance, I guess, because the first one was USA and this one is France. Okay, so the um, the one that my SA found for me, I told you there was wrinkling. It was like all over here. There was like about a dime or nickels worth of just like, just a, a lot of wrinkling, like as if it was folded and smushed in that section. So that was a little unsightly. So I'm actually really glad that I declined that one because this one, look how clean it looks. So let me see over here. Same, it looks good. There's a little indent here, probably from the fold or the strap, but that's okay, it's not bad. Let me open her up. So you guys probably know if you're hardcore Louis Vuitton fans, the Damier Bin print is actually the classic. This print was created or invented by Louis Vuitton himself and it's only after he passed away that his son developed the monogram. So the monogram came after the Damier Bin. So when a lot of people say the monogram is so classic, yes it is, but the Damier Bin is actually more of a classic if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm just shifting because I'm in an awkward sitting position, so I'm just shifting. Okay, so I know it looks funky at the moment, but this is just how all Speedy Bees look. So it's gonna have to kind of, you know, kind of find its shape. And I will definitely get a base shaper or actually a bag organizer that comes all the way up to here. Because also, wait. Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm going to take these straps off because I feel totally distracted as I examine this bag. This bag is a really nice size for me, but it's actually huge considering I tend to gravitate towards smaller bags. So relatively speaking, this is a big bag for me personally. But again, perfect for travel and for rainy day, bad weather day in New York City, going to work. Um, okay, I'm just a little distracted because is it just me or does that zipper look really wonky? Hold on, let me just, I'm looking through the camera and then I'm taking, I'm looking kind of outside the camera so I can get a good look, which is why it's taking me a while. Hold on, let me just, I know, whoa, okay, that doesn't feel right. I know I'm super picky and sometimes you guys accuse me of being too picky, but I think the majority of you are just as picky as me because a lot of you can commiserate and you've been supportive of my my returns. Um, okay, so when I, so as soon as I saw the zipper, I felt like it was kind of like wavy. Can you guys see that? And when I open it, it, it my hand like goes up and down. Hold on, let me try this side. This side looks a little bit, mm. So the first one that I got that I said was made in USA, the zipper wasn't like this. It was per perfectly uh, straight and smooth. So that's kind of annoying. And I am not naive to think that just because this was made in France, it's going to be perfection because I never mentioned on this channel, but I did order a toiletry pouch 26 made in France. I was so excited, but then the leather, I mean, not the leather, the canvas, there was like a grayish undertone and it wasn't like this brown brown in the monogram. There was like a grayish undertone and there was also this strange white residue on the sides that I couldn't get off and it just didn't look nice. So I kept actually the one that was made in Spain. Let me show you. 
I don't, I don't, have, I don't have it with me. Um, it's on the other side of the room. But the Made in Spain one was absolutely beautiful. So I kept that. And then I got another one, a third one, that was a different Made in France that was really pretty. And I gifted that to my mom. That was the one I was going to sell in the vlog sale recently, if you guys saw that one. And I know I got a lot of interest, but as soon as my mom saw my toiletry 26, she was like, oh, I want one of those. So I just gifted it to her. And so we're twinning. I've got the Spain one and she's got the France one. So that is a long winded way of saying I know that not all France items are going to be perfect. And I feel like this is case in point because the zipper is kind of ticking me off. So hold on. I have this. Okay, so I brought some smaller items because I wanted to see what they look like inside the Speedy. Um, like this zipper here is straight. All of my items from Louis Vuitton that have zippers, the zipper is buttery smooth and it's straight. So it shouldn't be wavy. You know, this is my key pouch. So let me just look at it again, you guys. Please bear with me. I just my first time looking at it you see how it's it's almost like there's too much zipper and that's why it's not tight yeah it's not like tightly pulled I think it's almost too much zipper so the looseness of the zipper is leaving it kind of like extra wavy here's the inside beautiful pop of red that's what I love about the Damier bin print it has that nice color contrast um, the mouth opening is a little bit I'm a flap back girl, flap back, flap bag, <laughs> flap bag girl. You guys know my favorite kind of bag is the one with flaps, compartments, and crossbody. So this is totally not up my alley, but it serves a different purpose for me, like I said. Um, but the zipper, yeah, it's a little small. I don't want to, I don't want it to scrape. Like I had that issue with my Givenchy Antigona in the mini size, but then I got used to it because the leather got really pliable and it opens wider now. The classic one, though, will have about an inch more to pull the zipper open, which I have heard makes a pretty substantial difference in getting some things in and out. So I'm just looking at this, and I tried on the other Damier Bin Speedy B that arrived, that I've returned, the USA one. I tried it on. I um, looked in the mirror with it on, and I love the look. Super classic. A little bit more understated, just a little bit, compared to the monogram. The crossbody really comfortable. I was concerned that the treated leather wouldn't be as soft and pliable as the Vachetta, which is true. The Vachetta is definitely going to be softer and mold to your body, but this was not uncomfortable in any way, even with stuff put into my, like I, I experimented by putting some items in just to see and it didn't feel heavy. It was good. So I was like, I'm definitely going to keep one if, if, you know, if the right one arrives, but this this zipper is bothering me, you guys. It looks better like, oh wait, yeah, let me see. Okay, maybe I'm overthinking this. Can you guys please let me know in the comments below what you think? Is it fine? And if you own a Speedy B, is this normal? I feel like it's not because the first version that I got didn't have the wavy zipper at all. Um, but maybe it'll, work its work itself out you see like this it's pretty wavy so let me see let me see the rest of the bag yeah i would love to know i know some of you are like speedy experts and you own like three or four or five of them which is crazy but i could see why this could be addictive um yeah i think it's fine except for that zipper and it, it might I have found that with me, when something bothers me straight away, it will bother me even more as time goes on. I've learned that lesson the hard way, so I don't want to be a sucker, basically, and think like, oh my gosh, I got a highly coveted made in France. It's so hard to find. I should just keep it. The zipper is not that noticeable. Like, I don't want to... Um, what is that called like rationalize my way into thinking like I should just keep it because to be honest as OCD as I may be sounding at the moment this wavy zipper is really bothering me and I don't know if it's coming off accurately on the camera but in person like as I'm looking outside of the the camera screen 
it's pretty bumpy. Like my finger. Yeah, when I when I unzip it, I feel the zipper going like that. I've also heard that the newer canvas is thinner, not as high quality. I don't I don't actually mind if the canvas is thinner because sometimes it makes it more soft and pliable, but I don't want it to be like thin, cheap canvas, right? I want it to be high quality, just as durable, lasts me for years and years and years. I can pass it down to my daughter when she's older. Um, so, you know, I don't like the thick, stiff, rigid canvas on the other hand. So I know that the Pochette Matisse, nowadays a lot of people are complaining that the Made in USA, even the France ones, the Pochette Matisse canvas is really thick and dull and rigid and I I don't like that my pochette Matisse which I don't have in front of me it has very nice pliable canvas it's very pretty it's not it's not matte but it's I mean it's not shiny but it's not like dull um, so I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with this video but I'm just it's like a stream of consciousness as I'm looking at this um, I don't know guys I think I'm gonna return it ugh, because of the zipper. Yeah, I think I'm gonna return it. I don't like the feeling. And you guys know I'm such a tactile person with like touch and feel. Let me smell it actually. Hold on, I didn't do that, let me smell it. Whoa, ugh. oh God, excuse me. It smells bad. I don't know what that smell is. Hold on, let me see again. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It doesn't smell nice. It's not pleasant. There was a foul chemical smell coming from the first key pouch that I got. And I returned it because the smell was so strong it wouldn't even come off my hands after I washed them with soap. The second key pouch that I got, I love. I got Lucky Online, it's a made in France piece. And I'm smelling it, it smells like nothing. It probably smells like me. Um, but there was a faint smell when I got this and I put it on top of our air conditioner and let it air out for about 24 hours and then the next day it was perfectly fine, no odor. But it was a very faint smell. This one smells... What the heck is this? It kind of smells like... It kind of smells like... Oh, sorry, let me try again. Okay, it's really grossing me out now. Um, oh, I'm very sensitive with smells, so... It, it has like a mix of almost like vinyl with like rubbing alcohol, if that makes sense. It's not a pleasant smell. It probably will air out. Let me smell my hands. Okay, my hands don't smell, so it's definitely not as bad as the key pouch that I got. And let me remind you, if you missed that video, the key pouch that I got the first time around was a Made in USA, and it was foul. That smell was horrible. Like, it was almost going through my, like, it was taking over my room. Like, the smell was permeating everything, like I said, including my hands. This one, no, as I'm touching it, my hands don't, my hands don't smell, so it's not transferring, so that's good news. But if you put this right up against your nose, it's not pleasant. A lot of the other pieces that I have, they smelt like canvas, like cotton or nothing, like neutral, just kind of a blah smell that didn't smell good, didn't smell bad, it was just whatever. This smells weird. I'm going to smell the dust bag too. Yeah, okay. The dust bag smells like the bag. So let me air this out for like... A day and think about it I'm gonna sleep on it but I also value your opinions so please let me know honestly down below in the comments what you think I should do or what would you do if you got this um, like I said I have I have a high tolerance level for ordering and ordering and ordering and seeing like it's like a lottery seeing what I get so I won't be crying if I have to return this and try again um, so yeah Okay, guys, that's it. This video went a lot longer than I expected. 
If you are still with me, thanks for sticking around. Please let me know what you think down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it mildly interesting, all the basic babble that I was doing and sharing whatever information that I have. And uh, yeah, and if you're not subscribed to my channel and you love all kinds of luxury goods and you are a luxury enthusiast like myself, I would love for you to join. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.